I want to say a big thank you to John Ramita Sr. Hey guys, it's Comic Relief Crusader here uh, with some pretty sad news. Um, on June the 12th, one of the legendary artists over at Marvel, uh, John Romita Sr., one of the key artists um, in Marvel Comics history, uh, passed away. John Romita Sr. He was 93 years old. Um, most of you guys might know a lot of his creations or co-creations um, that contributed to the very fabric of the Marvel Universe that John Romita Sr. contributed to. Um, characters like Wolverine, uh, Mary Jane Watson, uh, The Punisher, Kingpin, Luke Cage, uh, the Red Skull, George Stacy, the Rhino, uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider, Tigra, uh, Nova. Many, many of these characters were created or co created by John Romita Sr. Born on January 24th, 1930, he was just a, a comic book icon uh best known for his work on marvel comics and you know mostly the amazing spider-man his first comic work was back in 1949 uh as a ghost artist for timely comics which would eventually become marvel and uh, that's how he met editor-in-chief stan lee in uh, 1951 and uh, Romita began drawing horror and war and romance comics and uh, for Atlas Comics, uh, which was previously Timely Comics, which eventually would become Marvel. And uh, he also drew his first superhero work, um, a 1950s revival of Captain America. And he began working exclusively for DC Comics between 1958 and uh, 1965. Now, Romita joined Marvel in 1965, uh, drawing Daredevil in the comics for Marvel. And in 1966, um, he started drawing Spider-Man and uh, with co-creator Steve Ditko, and um, when he left Marvel, he took over for Steve Ditko. Um, Romita was chosen by, you know, writer Stan Lee as the new artist for The Amazing Spider-Man. And uh, within a year, Romita becoming the Spider-Man artist, the, uh, the Amazing Spider-Man rose from Marvel's, I believe, second best-selling title to, like, the company's top seller. So... He's contributed, like, a ton, a, a plethora of work to the entire Marvel Universe. It's, it's, it's hard to put into words how much he contributed to the whole fabric of the Marvel Universe. Because if it wasn't for him uh, and a lot of his co-creations, we wouldn't have the characters that we have now. And it's up to everybody to... Stay true to those creations that these legends have have made over 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 all these years that we've come to enjoy. He also helped create Luke Cage and uh, the Daredevil villain Bullseye and Wilson Fisk, you know, who became the evil mastermind, the Kingpin. Uh, I mean, nearly all these characters have appeared countless times in film and in TV and live action and animated shows and it 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 comes to a big shock uh, to the whole comic industry world um, that this happened again 90, 93 years old and uh, 
And in 2002, he was inducted into the Eisner Awards Hall of Fame. And the Inkwell Awards uh, Hall of Fame in 2020. And, uh, you know, survived by his wife, uh, Virginia, and of course, his sons, uh, John Romita Jr. and, and Victor. And, uh, and the comic book industry world is, is, is missing him terribly. And I miss him terribly too. And, uh, and just, just remember that next time you see a movie or an animated show or, or a TV series with any of these characters that he created. And, and just remember the time and work that, that went into it and how we need to honor the work that, that these creators have put into it and stayed true to the formula to which they wrote them as. Because without them, we wouldn't have anything that we have today. And this is the Comic Relief Crusader. I'll talk to you soon.